So we are not testing this game again. We will be testing American Nightmare. <laughs> oh my okay let's try Alan Wake What about sound? Is there any, is there sound? Yeah, there is some sound here. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, um, Alan Wake is still messed up. Frame rate is slightly better. I thought it's not actually running that much better. Yeah, it, it, it is running Okay, that's enough. Obviously, this is this is this needs more resources. Emulation is not doing that well. There's not really much we can do here. And the last game we will be trying today is just Tropico. This game was uh wasn't wasn't working either. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a last shot. Yup.
So guys, this will be the last game we will be testing today. You know, I think it's only you and I here, Depal. I think people, <laughs> they finally just left, you know. But, um... Let's give it a last shot here. And we shall call it a day. Let's see. Okay. Here we go, Tropical 5. Now, I think I was able to get this game running on Parallels, I think it was. But frame rate was extremely low. Okay, so far I got the Calypso launcher. Good, good. Oh no, the green screen again. Yep, same thing. How do we fix this? How did this had to do with the DirectX version, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's back. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Okay, so it's not working. Basically, what's going on here is that when the game is running, when the actual DirectX has to render the game, it just goes green. And I remember we had this issue when we tried this game on Discord. So that would be that. And you know what? We're just going to. Is this installed? OK, let's give it a shot. This is already installed, so we're going to give it a shot. Let's see if it runs. This one isn't even loading. Yeah, we tried this before. I remember remember we tried this on the Discord? No, well, actually, I tried it on my own. Nope. Nope, it's not running. So what can we conclude from this? Well, in first place, oh yeah, we got Metro too, but... I will give Metro a shot. But anyways, while we give Metro a shot, we're just going to wrap up here because, okay, so what we've seen is that updating the... Okay, Met Metro isn't even running at all. It's, it's dead too. Okay. Oh, and it actually had busted. Look at this. What are the details here? Okay, so. 
exactly exactly that's that's the only thing that worked here so um we will have to set up two bottles just as you mentioned before one's going to have the standard direct x 3d the ones we usually use for the mo for most part of the games and the other one the updated version of the dx dv or dx dk we're going to have to use it for other games so now we have two ways of testing games here for uh gog and epic now uh, the bad thing is that i don't own that many games so um i don't know we're just gonna have to test the games i have here and on gog well we can try the witcher later on 13 stalker and that's about it because the rest of the games they should run on potatoes you know there isn't that much here to try so um today you know all in all we were able to update the playstation 2 emulator well download the latest build which was released yesterday which is a good thing and we actually we tried a few games which didn't run you know all that bad you know, it was actually it wasn't that bad altogether uh we were still we still had issues with uh solid hill shattered memories and we also had issues with uh grand Turismo 4 the other three or four games that we tested were running fine but they but they were pretty old games yakuza 2 had that ghosting issue but all in all you know it was running pretty well and temperatures didn't go that high like we were able to hit 1080p 2k and it was still doing pretty good now the ghosting issue is a known issue so that's not that bad and uh, we tested metro which actually was not that bad either you know metro is quite surprising the the bad part of it is that you aren't able to limit the frame rate you can't apply a cap so the thing is that the system is constantly pushing to get the max frame rate and that just you know it just pfft, it blows the uh, resources away and um control well it crashes and it actually crashed the whole system like three times and what else did we try we tried oh yeah hitman hitman wasn't working at all so we updated directx 3d and it worked it's a good thing i did the um the update here as you guys can see on the screen i have the original files that i will have to uh copy back and then create another bottle but you guys can always join us on discord on how to do that i highly recommend uh joining discord for this joining our discord um as i said at the beginning of the video there um we're always open to helping and there's actually you know we're starting to gather quite a bit of resources like um there's lots of stuff there if you want to get started with emulation if you want to get started with wine and uh whatnot so yeah all in all guys um i'm sorry that the uh, stream crashed like three times today it's not only the stream like the whole system crashed and um that's about it that's about it so we're going to call it a day guys thank you for joining um hopefully i'll see you next week with more playstation 2 games and more um crossover games actually you know it's quite amazing to see how more modern games like frostpunk metro this uh this war of mine uh, hitman you know hitman was was doing pretty good we're you know moving towards more demanding games uh, it's still pretty impressive to see playstation 2 emulation we haven't gone through playstation 3 emulation but we will eventually once you know there is a substantial upgrade to that emulator so far all the, the whole bunch of games i have haven't improved a bit and um that's about it so i know it's only a uh, dpal and i here there's nobody else but <laughs> thank you for joining us i'll see you on discord and um have a great one guys so good night have a great one